Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. A lot of you have been asking me how I get the amazing and beautiful graphics on my screen. So today I will be sharing my Warframe graphics settings with you guys. A lot of you have been asking for it, so here it is before 2019 begins. Now the first things first, I want you guys to understand that experiences may vary based on your own PC specs. But if you are using something that is maybe around the GTX series in terms of graphics card or an AMD of a similar caliber, then you should get something a little bit similar to this. In the game graphics settings, the first thing I do is turn off motion blur. I never like that feature in any single game I play because it makes me a little bit dizzy, so I always turn it off. The next thing I do is turn off screen shake and I also increase my field of view. Screen shake is also another feature that may get you dizzy and increasing your field of view will also reduce the risk of having a seizure. I push my resolution to the highest for the monitor. Some of you are using 4K, some of you are using 1080, so you wanna go with whatever your monitor can handle. And I do the same for my frame rate as well. The monitor that I'm using to record this caps out at 60 refresh rate, so you can go around that region as well. I leave the aspect ratio at auto because it automatically sets itself but I turn off my G-Sync, which is the graphical synchronization. So once that is done, I move on to the next phase, which is one of the things about the sharp and rich looks. And one of the things that I do to simulate an HDR display is that I increase my contrast by around five points. Depending on what kind of monitor you're using, you can boost it up to maybe around 10 points, but I will say five points is the sweet spot and leave the brightness at around 50% depending on your monitor as well. Then after that is done, I keep my effects intensity at around halfway, which is around 100. Now, if you are using a low end PC, then you may have to turn it down a little bit. Once this is done, I check my details and since my PC can handle a lot of these things, I put most of my settings on high or ultra. I turn off the depth of field to give me an overall sharpness to every single corner. Tessellation is a matter of choice, but you can also turn that off as well. One important thing that I do is that I turn off film grain because I just don't like it. Film grain sometimes make it feel like I'm having, you know, some kind of a graphical glitch on my screen. So I always turn it off. If I want a film grain in any of my videos, then I can add it to it using the software. I also have anti-aliasing turned to medium, mainly because if I put it on the highest, it has a little bit of a blur effect on the edges. So medium is going to be that sweet spot. In terms of the bloom effect, I think the sweet spot for bloom is around 10, which means it is not too much and it is not just, you know, at a point where it is almost invisible. So there is a little bit of hint of that bloom effect every time you attack or you perform any elemental attacks. I also turn off color correction because of several reasons. I do a lot of fashion frame and I need my frames to look amazing. As of this moment, color correction has a little bit of a negative effect in the game because it makes a lot of the Warframe skins and surfaces a little bit shiny. Some of the blacks feel like plastic at times and I just don't like the fact that it makes your screen bleed when you cast some of the exalted weapon abilities in the game. I turn on elemental effects and of course I turn on the weapon trail effects as well. Now once again your hardware will also affect the looks that you get. It will affect the results after customizing all these things. Now if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to get to it as soon as possible. Now if you're also very skilled and knowledgeable in terms of PC graphics and gaming graphics then I will say that if you can you can also answer some of the questions that people may have been below in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys find it informative. I'll see you in the next one.